Hi, Trish here, and it is a gorgeous day towards the end of February, and I wanted to come uh, with you to you for with an, a video that um, kind of explains what we're doing right now with the Purple Martins. So uh, it's the end of February, and if you live in my part of the country, which would be like Northwest Arkansas, Oklahoma, uh, Fayetteville, Tulsa area. Um, the Scouts, the first Martins that should be coming back to the United States, which are, of course, the Scouts, they should be arriving. They usually arrive in the first two weeks of March. So uh, we went ahead today and put up our first Martin house for the season. But I want to explain what, what we did specifically because we didn't put up all our houses. And the reason is that right now the... Um, there's my cat. The birds that are coming back are the scouts, the males. They are coming to see if they can find a house um, that would be attractive to the girls. And so if they were here last year, they're probably going to come back to the same place. If they were babies last year, they're going to be looking for a new place. So they don't really care too much. Um, about how many holes are available in your colony. All they really care about is that there's a house and it looks like it's going to be a good place. So I went ahead, uh, I should say we went ahead and put up our first house. You can kind of see it there uh, behind me. It is the store-bought uh, barn. And um, I, I wanted to let you know that you probably can't tell by looking at it because it's kind of far away, but we actually did not open all the holes. So if you'll remember from one of the previous videos, I talked about how we knock out the walls between some of the compartments. So instead of having 12 compartments in that house, we only have six, which is great. The, the birds love it. So we have three holes on one side and three holes on the other. Well, when we put this house up, uh, we blocked off the holes that are on the back side of the house because those are actually more difficult for me to protect. I can't see them as well. And right now, the Martins don't really care. So I went ahead and blocked all of those holes off and be because they don't care and we'll open them up later when more of the Martins arrive. The other thing I wanted to point out to you is if you have a house like this one, like the, um, barn the house comes actually with some extra compartments I didn't talk about I should have I forgot but I'm gonna tell you about them now there are four compartments that lead to the attic the problem with those compartments is that they are really difficult to get into to check like the eggs or the babies the only way to look into the nest is to um, lift off one side of the roof and the roof is attached by like some little hooks and it's just really difficult to get in there and check those birds and when the summers as the summers go by the plastic gets even more and more brittle and I'm afraid that we're gonna break off one of the hooks which then would ruin the house because then the roof wouldn't stay closed so we actually go ahead and block off all the attic spaces for the whole season. I know that it's kind of a bummer because you like to have the you like the idea of having more available space for the martins, but they are really a pain to get in and out of. And if you have a situation where a bird dies up in that attic, it is almost impossible to get them out until after the season is over. So the bird just sits up there and decomposes it's not good so I went ahead and blocked those off so you can't tell that from here but I did um, the last thing I forgot to mention to you when I talked to you about putting your house up is the location of it as far as like the direction that it's facing you don't really have to worry about whether where uh, you know which direction is the best the birds don't care however what you need to keep in mind is that once the birds arrive, you don't want to change the location or the, the direction of the house in any way because that will throw them off and make them angry and that would be bad. So you can put it up any way you like. We have all of ours, of course, at least one side is facing our house so that I can protect them easily. And then once all the Martins start arriving, um, mid-March or so, we will unblock the ha uh, holes on the back of this house and then we'll probably go ahead and put up the rest of our Martin houses. So I just want to let you know that we are 
trusting that our Martins are on the way. They should be here in the next two or three weeks, and I will let you know when they arrive. And until then, I uh, hope you're doing well, and we'll see you next time.